Alright, so I used to be one of those massive, gigantic, humongous, huge nerds who would read all textbooks in medical school because I wanted to understand the bigger picture and I felt that reading books was absolutely crucial for that. However, the more experience I gained in medical school, the quicker I realized that this was actually absolutely unnecessary. What's cooking sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Arham and I'm a fourth year medical student at the University of Oslo here in Norway. So the first two years of medical school school here in Norway are called the pre-clinical years which means we have subjects like anatomy, physiology, histology, biochemistry and cell biology and actually during these courses I used tons of textbooks however I stopped using them in the third year which is like the first um, clinical year here in Norway and I'll give you three main reasons for this but before that here's a minor disclaimer so I'm not saying that reading textbooks is bad and you should stop reading textbooks all I'm saying is that this is something I personally don't do anymore and also if you're one of those who love to read textbooks then actually you don't have to spend money on buying textbooks you can simply go to a library and borrow the book you know and save some money or also you can also download like online pdfs you know just type the name of the book and you'll get the online pdf version for almost every single medical textbook out there and now having said that let's get straight to business one thing that I actually absolutely love about clinical years in medical school is that all the lectures or all the PDFs are quite systematically arranged. You know, you have a disease, you have the definition, you have the symptoms, you have the diagnosis, and then you have the management and treatment of that very condition. And all important information is actually included in the lectures because your professors or your teachers are medical doctors themselves, like in most cases at least. And they know what stuff is clinically important and that's what they include in the lectures. And the major question over here is that where exactly do all these teachers get their information from you know the information that they include in their lectures well the answer is quite simple books so these professors read medical textbooks for you and then they make their powerpoints or their pdfs and they include all that important significant clinical information from those textbooks and include that in their lectures and explain that to you you know in a much simpler way hopefully the point being that your professor has already done that work for you they have read the textbook and have also picked and chosen the most important information and included that in their lectures so your job is basically almost done and your life is you know much much simpler thanks to these amazing teachers professors most students actually read textbooks for that same reason that exact reason I'm not even kidding they basically read a certain chapter and then take notes of the information that they consider to be important and hence read those notes when you know the exams approach but my point being that your professors have already done that work for you so why bother doing that work again so if you know the majority of the stuff that is inside the lectures you will easily breeze through your exams because books are loaded with information they're already organized much more theoretically and they have all this information which is not really cl clinically relevant right for example you know I don't know like research stuff um, and how does those certain conclusions and findings were made you know so there's stuff that you don't really need to know in a clinical situation so why bother reading through all of that you know your, your teachers have filtered out all that information and hence I think lectures are the way to go medicine is actually one of the fastest evolving fields in the world right now you have ai you have um, latest technologies you have new and latest research papers based on newest data so on the one hand you have all this new information overload and on the other hand you have these old outdated textbooks because medical textbooks are actually you know um updated like every four to five years so you have this hassle in the back of your mind that whenever a new edition comes out i have to get that for you for, no, for two to get access to the latest information now obviously I do understand that it's very costly and time-consuming for evidence-based textbooks to seek out and appraise and incorporate all that new information in a timely manner using only their own resources but the point being that you know you have these lectures or the professors who include the latest data in their lectures they include the latest technologies there is research so books are really updated so, so instead of waiting for a new edition every single time just go through your lectures and you will get most of that information over there. I know this might sound extremely extremely cliche my friends but the point is that the world is actually moving more and more towards digital more and more towards digitalize more and more towards digitalization oh, finally and the best example that I can give right now is that people do not really read newspapers anymore you, you rarely see any newspapers being delivered at your doormat or you know people sitting in the bus reading these giant ass newspapers nobody does that anymore now people have you know their newspaper apps um, downloaded 
it in their phones so that they can open up their apps any freaking time and just read the latest news and stay updated as much as possible. And secondly, I also believe that reading textbooks is actually quite time consuming because, you know, as I already mentioned, there's a lot of information overload in textbooks. And when you are reading a certain book, it's really hard to limit yourself to not read the irrelevant information because it's there, it's right in front of your eyes. So you just have to, I guess, read it. But on the other hand, my friends, productivity for me is all about getting more done, you know, getting the most amount of effective work done in the shortest possible time. And this is exactly where online resources come in, which will help you save tons and tons of time because I believe that books are now an old fashioned way of learning. So now let me share my own personal story and my own experience when it came to learning anatomy here in medical school or in the second year of medical school. So I was one of those who would sit down and really, you know, go through every single page of the anatomy at Atlas. And I spent long hours, long days at the library and the anatomy lab trying to memorize all these minor details and, you know, trying to ace an A in anatomy because back in the days that really used to be my biggest dream but now that i actually think about it and replay the entire situation i think i could have done much better even though i did get an a in anatomy i think i could have handled this entire situation in a much better way but bay way by using online learning platforms which would have made the job much 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 more easier for example kenhub who are also very kindly sponsoring this video now kenhub if you haven't heard of them already is an amazing amazing online learning platform for three main courses, you know, anatomy, histology and medical imaging, for example, CT scans. And these three are actually one of the most demanding courses in medical school, or at least I thought so. And the main reason why I love and promote Kenhub so freaking much these days is because they take your learning to a whole new level by incorporating and combining the platform with something called Active Recall, which I actually have talked about multiple times previously. It's like the most important and the best, most effective study technique out there. Let's say you are trying to memorize or learn about the lower extremities or the legs, it would be really overwhelming for somebody to open an atlas and you know, have a look at all these different images and pictures with all these different muscles, veins, arteries, nerves, muscles and you know bones um, and one can get really confused. However, the way KenHub approaches this is actually quite amazing because it takes you step by step. For example, it starts off by showing you animations and labeled pictures and images of the bone femur, which is the bone of the upper leg and also the longest bone in the human body. Once this is done, it will add more layers to this and explain the different muscles with their names, with their functions or regions, insertions, blood supplies, and also innervations. It will then take you to the next step, which is how all the blood vessels and nerves are located and how they run in the upper leg. Now, once all this learning aspect is complete, here comes the best part, the quiz. This is basically active recall where you now test how much information you actually remember and where your learning lies. It's all about effective studying fam. And even though I'm done and dusted with anatomy, I still use KenHub for actually revising and you know reviewing medical imaging, which is still extremely, extremely clinically important. So I can strongly recommend you guys to invest in KenHub as well because it's gonna be absolutely worth your money and also you will get a 10% discount off the Canada premium membership if you access through my discount link in the description box below. Now having said all of that, if you still want to invest in, you know, buying books and purchase medical textbooks, then by all means go for it because I'm not saying that books are bad. I'm just saying there are better ways to learn in 2021. That's all for today, Sapiens. I hope you found the video useful and if you did, then you might want to check out this video which will surely add some value to your lives. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care. Peace.